My name is Greg Webster. I'm with Turner Construction. I'm the uh, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing manager uh, for the MGHPCC project. Where we are right now is on the second floor in the, the main data or the data hall, the main you know main computing space. And I'm kind of at the north side of the building now. And over here on the left are these. You'll hear them referred to as pods, but they're the computer racks with their um, in-row cooling devices that are in there as well. And this whole area is another area of coordination where you can kind of see there's a tremendous amount of stuff over these pods, both mechanical, chilled water distribution, all that equipment is down from down below is sending chilled water up here so that we can cool these pieces of equipment. Uh, cable tray for distribution of uh, low voltage cabling or, you know, the network cabling, if you will. Uh, bus duct for electrical distribution to the various uh, computer racks and components. So I'll kind of get back down here and I'll fly through where we are. So I'm going along the north side, kind of a little bit higher than eye level right now to give you kind of a vantage point. These are those electrical items uh, from distribution from below. They come up here to these uh, switchboards, which then distribute overhead power to the various electrical requirements. Um, looking down a main aisle with pods both to our left and our right. You can kind of see here. Now we're at eye level again. We're looking towards the south side of the building where the where the fit out or not the fit out but where the balance of the day two work would be. Um, and right now if I turn I'm looking down one of these pods. You'll hear the term um, hot aisle containment and this is kind of a view of that right here. These, these items kind of over our head serve as a ceiling in the pod. Right now we have the doors turned off on the end. There will be a door right here that helps contain the heat inside of this pod. And as we look up above the pod, you'll see kind of a view of what this looks like directly above it. Um, cable tray for um, network distribution smaller chill water pipe. When you get down to this point, the pipe starts getting smaller for local distribution to these in-row coolers. Uh, sprinkler piping that drops down into the pod, electrical distribution on the outside, and up at the roof level. Um, um, kind of, this is kind of a look at various electrical distribution that is over top of us and structural elements that we have to attach to. Up on the roof level, we're not allowed to attach to anything on the roof deck, so there's a whole system of intermediate supports which we're putting between the structure which will serve as our, um, our anchoring point. Right now you'll see, here's an example of that. We've drawn in some of those hangers right up into that steel. That's where we have to grab so we don't anchor to the roof. But kind of looking over top of everything, it's, it's really hard to visualize everything that's up there and right now it just looks like a lot of stuff on the, on the drawing and, and it is but there's a lot over top of this equipment. And we originally thought that this was gonna be the easiest, you know, I don't use the term easy, but the, the, the more simple part of the building to coordinate, but it really isn't because we thought we'd be able to copy one since they're all the same and just mirror it. And it turned out to be the most difficult area to coordinate because of all of these services and the various pitches of pipes and the various layers of things. And not to mention that the roof changes, it actually has a slope to it, which made stuff pretty difficult. But that's the beauty of this system is this system will tell you, you know, everything for, mo for the most part with a lot of human input will help you expose where you have various problems potentially and work those things out.